and welcome to Daily Prayer today for August 15th, 2022. Glad that you are with me. Today is Chant at the Moon Day, Indian Independence Day, National Relaxation Day, Check the Chip Day, Discover Day, and the Feast of the Assumption. Go ahead and get started. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord's unfailing love and mercy never cease, fresh as the morning and sure as the sunrise. Our reading for today comes from Genesis chapter 8, verse 6 through 12. Listen for God's word to speak to you. At the end of 40 days, Noah opened the window of the ark that he had made and sent out the raven, and it went to and fro until the waters were dried up from the earth. Then he sent out the dove from him to see if the waters had subsided from the face of the ground, but the dove found no place to set its foot, and it returned to him in the ark, for the waters were still on the face of the whole earth. So he put out his hand and took it and brought it into the ark with him. He waited another seven days, and again he sent out the dove from the ark, and the dove came back to him in the evening and there in its beak was a freshly plucked olive leaf. So no one knew that the waters had subsided from the earth. Then he waited another seven days and sent out the dove, and it did not return to him anymore. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So our reading for today we have from Genesis 8. So Noah has been, um, <clears throat> the waters have receded now. They've been on the boat for 150 days. Um, and then a 40 days after that, it has rested on the top of Mount Ararat. Uh, and now he's seeing, you know, is it okay? Is it available? Is, is there something we can hope for? How, how far have the waters receded? First, he sends out a raven. Um, heard an interesting, it wasn't a sermon, but a Bible study, uh, suggesting there's, there's an interesting sort of thing going on here. The raven is sent out, right? And the raven goes to and fro and actually never returns back to the ark until the day that the, um, the lands are dried up. Why? Well, ravens are carrion eaters. They uh, will eat dead bodies. They don't mind being dirty. Uh, it's a pretty dirty place, and there's probably a decent amount of bodies around. So a raven is totally fine, uh, like a pig in mud or a raven uh, after a major flood. The dove, however, doves just as a species tend to like things very neat and tidy. I had a friend who kept all sorts of birds and he said the, the doves were absolutely by far the most persnickety. They were just um had to be very, you know, they had to be dry. There had to be no dirt or mud or anything in their cage, or they just would be very anxious and, and freak out and could even die. So he sends out this dove, and the dove flies around and doesn't find anywhere where it can land, so it comes back. He sends it out again, flies around, and in the evening comes back with an olive branch, which says that the, the uh, sort of waters have receded enough that there is a chance that you know this this olive tree has now sprouted again and and it is growing so that's a good sign but he brings it back in again and sends it out seven days after that and it flies around and it does not return it finds a place it's clean enough um it, the waters have receded enough that things aren't covered in dirt and grime and mud but that this dove is able to find a place where it can rest. And so this is a sign for Noah. Um, so the, the Bible study suggestion was, you know, we are, we are meant to be doves and not to be uh, ravens. That um, there's all sorts of things in the world that could dirty us. There's all sorts of things um, in which we can just sort of get into the, um, the grossness and the, and the, the dirtiness right? But we are not to rest in those places. We're to seek the places that are good, seek the places of peace, and make homes in those places um, to, to be discerning in the things that we sort of, places we go and things that we do and that sort of thing. Interesting, 
it's cute. Um, but ultimately, we're, what we are hearing here is that these waters are continuing to recede. And an interesting thing is that these birds are helpmates. They are, are ones who assist Noah in this um, sort of investigation. Uh, he can't find out by himself necessarily, for whatever reason, what, how far the waters have receded, but these animals are able to help. So those are our readings for today. Let's go ahead and join together in prayer. Satisfy us with your love in the morning, and we will live this day in joy and praise. We lift our voices in prayer and praise, holy God, for you have lifted us to new life in Jesus Christ, and your blessings come in generous measure. Especially we thank you for the good news of Jesus Christ for all. The wonder and beauty of creation. The love of family and friends. Opportunities for faithful service. Particular blessings of this day. People of God, for what else do we give thanks? We give thanks for this day, for the wonder of creation, the receding grossness sometimes. We give thanks for these helpmates. We hold up before you human needs, God of compassion, for you have come to us in Jesus Christ and shared our life so that we may share his resurrection. Especially we pray for the one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. Peace and justice in the world. those in whom we see Christ's suffering. Those who offer Christ's compassion. Particular concerns of this day. People of God, for what else do we pray? We pray for Keith, the son of Den and Ernie in Nashville, who will be having surgery on the 20th. For Nick, who will have shoulder surgery on the 22nd. For Van, uh, family of the Garlands, who has been diagnosed with cancer. For Tony, who continues his radiation treatments. For Tom, Sharon's brother, who's in the hospital for double pneumonia. For Amy, who's continuing to recover from back surgery. And for Don, who's home from the hospital. Eternal God, our beginning and our end. Be our starting point and our haven. And accompany us in this day's journey. Use our hands to do your creation and use our lives to bring others the new life you give this world in Jesus Christ, Redeemer of all. Amen. Now let us continue to praising the words that Christ taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Now may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with us all. Amen. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be blessed. 
Thank you so much for joining me today for daily prayer. Join me tomorrow for some more. Like this video, share it with someone else, click on the subscription and the notification button, as well as going to our website, johncalvinchurch.org, for more information. Our liturgy today came from the Book of Common Worship of the Presbyterian Church USA 2018 edition, and our readings came from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed day, and we'll see you next time.